at the small makeshift studios of Rwanda's TV10. Journalists are preparing for the main news bulletin of the day. This is Rwanda's first and only private television station. It's just a year old and still facing challenges. When we started TV10, it was in February 2013, only three people in the staff has an experience with TV. Only three people. So most of our staff, they learn by doing. They learn by doing, they learn by practicing. Until recently, private media was almost unheard of in Rwanda. And there is a good reason for that. Many Rwandans believe that media was complicit in the 1994 genocide, in which at least 800,000 people, mostly Tutsis, and some moderate Hutus were killed. The incitement to genocide was broadcast on radio, and journalists through their broadcast guided the killers to the hideouts of their victims. To many Rwandans, the media participated heavily in the genocide, and it's a perception for which journalists here continue to pay a heavy price. On that history, there still remains suspicion. There still remains suspicion on uh, what is said on radio, what is said, what is written down. Uh, and, and, and it depends on us in the industry how we, how we can evolve ourselves and, uh, and build the confidence and the trust. The most prominent hate media outlet in Rwanda then was a private radio station called Mill Collins. Established in 1993, the radio station called for a final war to exterminate the cockroaches, a term used to dehumanize Rwanda's ethnic Tutsis. When the genocide was brought to an end and Rwanda got a new government, there was a need to rebuild the state media destroyed during the war. Robert Ford, a veteran Rwandan journalist, was one of those called upon to do this job. Each time I thanked God that I was part of this process. To me, it was a golden chance to work with people that have gone through a, an experience that I am failing to comprehend every day. The case against journalists at the International Tribunal for Crimes in Rwanda, ICTR, set a precedent in international law. It was the first time mayor's speech was considered a type of genocidal crime. One of the many legacies of the Rwanda genocide is therefore the recognition of the role media could play in atrocities including genocide. Rwanda knows that just too well. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Kigali, Rwanda.